In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how I modified a toy minigun to be able to play the character Heavy in Team Fortress 2. Before I begin, just a quick shout out to Jackson Carter for suggesting this controller design. If you have a controller idea you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. This controller uses an off-brand Nerf gun that I purchased from Amazon. I wanted to use the original trigger, which already had a button inside. So I snipped off the wires and soldered on jumpers for connections into my circuit design. The microcontroller used for this project is the Arduino Leonardo. It has built-in USB support that allowed me to easily convert the controller inputs into mouse and keyboard commands. This model of Arduino is essential for creating these types of projects. For movement, I decided to use a joystick that I simply zip-tied to the front handle of the minigun. The most important component used is the MPU6050, which is a combination accelerometer and gyroscope. This will allow me to measure the change in orientation of the toy over time. These measurements will then be used to move the mouse and aim my gun within the game. Finally, I hot glued three additional buttons to the back grip to add a few additional features that I will show off in a bit. All project materials are linked in the description below. Both the circuit diagram and source code are available for free on my website insertcontrollerhere.com. I will happily answer any questions you have if you attempt to build your own. I loaded up a private server to test the functionality of the controller. Movement, shooting, and aiming all feel great. It took some fine tuning to get everything working correctly, but there is no noticeable delay while playing. The code for aiming is based off the McCree Nerf gun controller designed by David Madison. Check out his blog and GitHub for more details as he does a great job of describing his code in depth. One issue with its design is turning around, which can make aiming difficult. I use two of those buttons I glued on as controls for turning. This allows me to turn without the need to move too far to one side. These buttons make navigating hallways much easier, but I still find myself using both turning methods while in game. The final button is used to stop all mouse movement commands. This allows me to move the controller without having my weapon move in game. With the controller fully completed, it was time to load up a real game.
If you enjoyed today's project, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. If you have a controller ID you'd really want to see, leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe for future videos. Since these projects and videos take time for me to produce, I'd like to be able to share more project updates and behind the scenes work while I'm in between projects. I've decided to use Twitter for this, so check me out on Twitter at controller here for more info. Thanks for watching.